try not to laugh some of the funniest news clips ever recorded. Take a look. I'll walk. Yeah, I can walk. Uh, Why don't you walk? I don't, I don't need to walk. Well, wow, shit, no, you know. You're going to put everybody else walking the gunner. Why don't you just walk the gunner? All right, I'll walk the gunner. Well, all right, let's go. All right, thank you. How about splitting that ass? And you'll be so goddamn fucking tired the time you get to New Hope, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so goddamn fucking tired by the time you get to New Hope that you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be... Mm, mm. Well, what's made you... What's got you so mad today? Me? Yeah. Because everybody wants to run. Everybody wants to run. That's good. Run here at the Gunners. Well, I'll walk. I'll be right behind them and see how far they can run. It's a chauvinistic pig attitude that you're going <laughs> to do something because you work at the arsenal and you got a fucking Mercedes Benz and you ain't got to walk every day so you're going to get out and strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. <laughs> when you start walking, my friend, and you get 10 and 15 miles on the highway, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be half dead by the time you get there. So it's a chauvinistic pig attitude that Clinton's got Strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. And when you walk about 15 or 20 miles, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so fucking tired, you won't be hard to hold that ass up. You won't be strutting that ass, strutting that ass. How's it feel to get the power restored? It's been five days, hasn't it? You know what? It's, it's a... I'm so glad the power come back up because I was burning up. Lamasa Pace said she was thrilled to see mm -hmm. all the power trucks rolling down her street, South Military. The whole street was lined up with them, with them cherry pickers and all them crew. I said, I said, you said hallelujah. I go like hot dog. Look at that, boy. Look at that thing. How well are you going to sleep tonight? You bet I'm going to sleep like a baby. Drink me wow. some good old Kool-Aid and drink me some some cool big jug of ice or Kool-Aid and go to sleep like a baby. Kelly Dodson was asleep with her little girl inside their apartment on Webster Drive when I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the projects. He tried to rape me. He tried to pull my clothes off. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your t-shirt, you done left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know now so you can run and tell that, homeboy. And like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got you got some, some big <laughs> testicles to pull this off, bro. Because we see this dude every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up from? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music. You should come up from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was not anything going on? Bro, not a clue. What was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be bro, around Bro, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And Either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran into a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Larry, which one made you laugh first? You didn't None laugh? of them. Come on, man. Come on. I hate those Why clips, do you hate man. those clips? You, you, you feel like the media be taking advantage of people who are in a, um, what, what's the best way I can put this? It, in a position of, um, I don't know. You feel like the media take advantage of people. Yeah, I mean they 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 like to show the they like to show these stereotypes of, of us and and I don't like it. Man, that first guy I, mean, I, you know, I, I worked as a you know, I worked as a as a photojournalist for, you know, for a number of years and I used to hate it when they would come out and they would ask me to get, well, how can you didn't shoot this or how can they got that when they would look at other at the, at the other competing people's stuff and I was like cuz I'm not going to shoot that shit. I'm not shooting stereotypes. I wasn't gonna do it. I, I I just I don't like seeing that. I mean, I understand those people are out there. I I know they're part of our community, mm -hmm. and that's fine. But I just 
they look for that. Being a, I, I haven't been a part of the media. I know at times what they go out there looking for, and they and and they look for that. And I don't want to be a part of that. I don't like it. Well, so, I laugh. I understand, my- I understand. For a lot of people, find it funny, and it, and I and I understand where the humor comes from. I just I don't like it. That first white dude was funny as hell talking about Bill Clinton. He did not like Bill Clinton and Democrat, and he was mad about it. And that was the only one that made me laugh, in all honesty. Moving right along. I mean, that dude, that dude had, like, no teeth. He looked like he had meth mouth. Eh. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, you, you hear people and you see people do stuff that's outlandish. And, and, and on, some, on some, you know, primal level, it's funny. But at the same time, we're watching people that are that are probably in the worst state of their life. And when you see someone that you know is obviously high, that to me is not particularly funny. I, there's there's plenty of things that are out there I think that are funny. When you look at like that 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 little girl that what was her name, the little Miss America, Junior Miss America, or some chick that was from South Carolina that gave that crazy answer and said, oh, this and that and what can and hand men and, and just basically said nothing. That was a funny, that's a funny clip to me. You know, I mean, when you see that guy that was out there, the the one dude that, that I forgot his name. He was sort of like a, sounded like sort of a stoner hipster dude that killed an attacker. That dude, when he his interview, he was funny. There are some funny clips out there. I guess I just, and it maybe it's just me too from being a bit sensitive. Sometimes I just get tired of seeing black people made fun of. I mean, I, it it it, I, it gets on my nerves that they go and look for the people who seem to have the lowest education or are the poorest or not up to date on things. But I was happy that this particular clip didn't just focus on us. It got deranged because oftentimes the focus is on us when we don't make up the majority of the people that be acting a fool in the news. So um, right. I got plenty of laughs out of that first guy. Hated Bill Clinton strutting that ass. Moochie shot. Ass. Mo- he, definitely had a, he definitely had a saying. Yeah, man. Strut that <laughs> ass. As a matter of fact, that's what I might have to start saying about Professor Carey instead of y'all Strut pulling out like. <laughs> yeah, strut that, ass. Strut that ass. 